Mac OS 13 Ventura has some big updates like the stage manager, continuity camera, pass keys and more. And even though you might already know about a lot of these features thanks to WWDC, there's still a lot of cool stuff that is worth checking out. So let's dig in. Suppose you want a clock app on your MacBook and I absolutely have zero clue why you would want one when you already have one on your iPhone. But yeah, let's just say you want one. So don't worry, Apple's got you covered and uh, yeah, the new macOS Ventura has a new clocks app inside of it. You can use the new iOS inspired clocks app to set a timer, alarm and even stopwatch. It's got a very basic UI and does a very basic job, but for those who need it, you've got it. When you start a timer or another activity inside the app, it will also appear in the menu bar at the top and stay there until you stop it or it finishes. So yeah, that's that's one cool thing about it. And similarly to the clock app, the weather app also feels like an enlarged version of the weather app from iOS and iPadOS. But one cool thing about this application is that it can offer real-time weather conditions from various locations. And the details also include UV index, 10-day forecast, sunset, wind, humidity, and air pressure details, and even an option to see map-based real-time details about precipitation. To add a new location to the weather app, search for the place you want in the search bar, select the place, now click on the plus button next to the search bar, and you can access the location from the sidebar. And click on this teeny little icon in the top left corner if you can't see the sidebar. Let's just say you're on FaceTime call on your iPhone. Now the new cool feature from macOS Ventura allows you to transfer that FaceTime call from your iPhone to macOS or maybe even iPad. And as you might have already guessed, all of this happens without any hassles and that too wirelessly. Apple also promised to add live caption support for FaceTime calls, but there's only a specific list of devices that will support this feature. In MacBooks, you'll need to have an Apple Silicon MacBook, that is the new M1 MacBooks. Yeah, Intel ones are not going to work. In iPhones, you'll need to have an iPhone 11 or later model. And talking about iPads, you'll need to have an iPad with A12 Bionic chip or later. So yeah, I'm just excited to try it out since I have a whole ecosystem of Apple devices. So there's a nifty little feature in iOS 16. Hidden and recently deleted photos are only accessible with your Face ID scan or Touch ID scan. Well, Ventura also offers the same level of protection. And the best part about this extra layer of protection is that you do not have to enable it in settings. It's just turned on by default. On the sidebar of your photos app, you'll see an option called recently deleted if you have recently deleted pictures on your device. To view them, you'll need to enter a password or put in your touch ID. And if you have enabled hidden photos in view menu, you or anybody who tries to access the hidden photos will have to enter the device password or put in the touch ID. Now this next feature is my favorite. If you're a graphic designer or even a content creator, you might have used those shady websites that removes the background for you. And oh my God, what a nightmare those websites are. First of all, they offer a very shady UI with uh, all these ads and all. And even the result that they provide is very compressed and poor in quality. Well, don't worry, Ventura is holding you back since now you can remove background from any image in macOS Ventura that too without using any application or website. Just right click on the picture in Finder, open its menu, click on quick actions, click on remove background, and a duplicate file will automatically be created on the same location. It has to be my favorite feature of macOS Ventura so far. In addition to adding new features to the macOS, Ventura has also polished the features that macOS already had. So let's talk about the spotlight for a minute. Any Mac user will agree that it is one of their favorite features. And another feature that's everybody's favorite, literally favorite is Quick Look. And macOS Ventura has fuse both of these features. So whenever you're inside search results of Spotlight, you can hit space to see details of that particular search result. You can even quick look to watch video in a pop-up window instead of having to go out in your browser and then launching the window. The same goes for web photos, links to web pages and more. And along with quick look, macOS Ventura also offers quick actions inside the Spotlight search as well. So rather than looking for clock app, opening it, and then starting the task, you just have to search for timer or clock inside Spotlight Search and you'll automatically see suggestion for start timer. Just click on it, select the timer length and click done. Spotlight also introduces helpful ways of searching for images, let it be on Mac or internet. For example, for a photo of a recent event, I entered computer as keyword. And as a result, it showed me all the images and videos that had computer in them from my Finder and Photos app. That's, that's just 
crazy absolutely crazy in the search result there were some specific pictures that i was looking for but unfortunately i wasn't able to find them however after changing the metadata of those particular images it it just worked like a charm it just worked like a charm so mac is arguably one of the best computer on the planet but they all have one problem in common the camera do apple updated the camera on imac 16 and 14 inch macbook pros and even on studio display but they are still just okay however mac os ventura lets you use the world's greatest mobile camera system as your webcam your iphone iPhone 11 and later models support continuity camera which lets user participate in FaceTime video calls, Zoom calls, WebEx calls with much 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 better camera quality. Just open supported application on MacBook, on iPhone, tap confirm to confirm the connection and just like that your iPhone becomes a webcam. And since it's an iPhone, you do get access to features like center stage, portrait lighting, studio lighting and all that. Just in case you're into it. So that is it for this one. Do let me know what are your thoughts about the new Mac OS Ventura. Have you tried it? Have you installed it? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like what you watch, then make sure to hit the like button, subscribe button, and make sure to download the iGeeks Blog app from the App Store to stay updated with everything Apple. This is me, Ash, signing off, and I'll see you in the next one.